let's play some games, shall we? Hello there, guys and girls. This is Otter from Otter and Weasel. And we're gonna play a solo game today, which is not really quite funny. But then again, does it always have to be funny? I got this game from a good friend of mine on Steam named Angry Boss. He's always a good pal, sharing our stuff, watching it whenever he can. Thanks, Angry Boss. He sent this to, as a birthday gift to me. And I just felt it wasn't, it was, uh, how do you say that? I felt it was uh, not more than appropriate, that it was more than appropriate to play it for a series on Otter and Weasel. Because I was really looking forward to playing this, and now we can share it together. So, like I said, it's gonna be a little bit more serious, but hey, it doesn't always have to be funny, right? You can also enjoy the more sad things, which sounds a little bit weird, but, ah, oh, whatever, we're gonna start. Uh, yeah, this is all fine. I want to go to the game. Thank you. Oh, wait, I'm still in the options. Never mind. New game. Okay. Like every damn Ubisoft game usually does. Let's start. August 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro Hungarian Empire. The German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. It's interesting. I remember they said the game was inspired or made with the engine of the Rayman games, but you know it will look so much alike. Oh wow. That's a heavy start for a game. I mean, we knew it was gonna be heavy, but wow. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more, and took away a meal as well. Are we getting the goosebumps already, people? Because I'm feeling them. Called up to fight and let the but I get them easily, there. though. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. Can I play now? Oh, I can play. Nice. It's probably not just as Raymond that I can punch people and they turn into bubbles, but hey. <laughs> Nope, not that way. They talk like Raymond characters. Tab. What we can do with Tab? Or, yeah, if you want to read this stuff, people just pause. We're playing a game, we're not reading a book. Oh wow, that was quick. Not sure it went like that back then, but I can't have everything historically accurate. What's that? What? What that? There's a trumpet over there. Does it? Do we need to rip his trumpet? Oh. Ah. I don't know about the style. It's, I mean, they made it a little bit more grim than Rayman, but it still looks cartoony. It's a weird combination. It's such a grim story. Grim story. Oh wow! Yeah, very good. Just wait until you're in the trenches. What's that? Is that a grenade? 
Oh, wow. It's a weird grenade. It's like a blue apple. Ooh, I can pick up more. Nice. Catch, bitch. I said catch. Can I pick up... Oh, hey, hello. Let's pick up another grenade, I guess. Let's pick up another grenade, shall we? And catch. Oh, damn it. That's not the way. Damn it, Carl. Get your shit together. Or whatever the f name of the father was. There we go. Are you fucking kidding me? Catch that asshole. There you go. Can you pick up the helmet again? No? I want the helmet. Give me the helmet. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Catch. Boom. We won the war. Against Trap Puppet Land. Climb. Can I pick up the helmet? No, I guess I only can pick up one or something as a collectible. Looks pretty cool they don't really have a face or something. Falls in uh, line with the whole idea of the war that everybody was just slaughtered as a bunch of cattle instead of unique people. What are we doing here? Oh. Oh. Nationalism for the win, huh? goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. Duh. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. Yeah, the I'm wondering how long that's gonna to take though. His truest friend. I wonder if they're gonna portray something with losing limbs and stuff, because it wasn't pretty back then. Tab. Railways. Space. <laughs> okay, that's pretty damn funny. This shit. Okay. Thirsty. There you go. What the fuck? Oh, we want something else. Asshole. Maybe. Oh, maybe I could switch these up. There you go. Oh, I don't even need to switch it up. You just be an asshole <laughs> and rip his shit. Gonna throw a ball in their face? Nope. Oh well. Fortunately, there's an invisible bottle up there, which becomes clear again for some reason. Let me grab. There you go. Wanna sip? There you go. Yeah, that's it. You like that, don't you, you dirty little French? Escape. New diary. Ah. Uh, I check the diaries. Got a training at the military camp today. Can't help thinking of Carl was probably doing the same in Germany. The declaration of wars are created havoc. I hope Marie and the neighbors manage to finish the harvest in time. I'm really worried about those neighbors because you don't know people. Well, you know people, but in such cases when war breaks out, you know, things can turn very differently. What's up with you? 
What do you want? You want music? You want notes? Oh, you want them to play, huh? Certain order in this or what? This seems to work. Oh yeah, there's an order. Oh wow, that's cool. And, uh, trumpet? Nope, not the trumpet. Okay, this is pretty damn cool, people. Yeah, that's nice. Good old uh, 10s music or something. What do you call the, the years before the 20s? The 10s? I don't know. I'm on a train. That's what I know. Uh, nope. Let's dance. Let's dance. Oh, wait, wait, there's something over there. I saw it shining. What is it? What is it? It's a pen. Oh my god. <laughs> Like I said, the mood is still cheerful for now, so I'll be cheerful as well. Can I go over there? Yeah, I can. Oh, that's cool. Ah, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're afraid of smoke. All French people are afraid of smoke, I should have known that. Baguette. Thank you very much. I'm Why is he gray? Who the fuck is gray? Where the hell does he come from? Is it Ash? From the smoke? August Ash Ketchum from Peloton? 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Uh, well, I think this is a nice point to break it off. Sorry to leave you in, uh, uh, yeah, waiting like that in suspense, but we'll see you next time for the second episode. Thanks for watching, people. See you next time. Bye-bye.